Dear students, I hope you all are safe and well. Welcome to my zoology class. This is Akmal Hussain, lecturer biology, Square High School and College. Now I am going to take a zoology class of Standard 9, Chapter 7. Today's topics are gas exchange in plants and human respiratory system. What will we learn from this class? We will be able to know about gas exchange in plants and human respiratory system. Gas exchange in plants, you know, each and every living things need energy and gaseous exchange is essential for production of energy. Photosynthesis and respiration are the two important processes in the life of plant. Now, what is photosynthesis? You know, the process through which plant produce carbohydrate type of food from oxygen and carbon dioxide and water by the presence of sunlight. And respiration you know the process through which living organism produces energy on the presence of oxygen and that means photosynthesis and respiration both process is essential for the plant life a plant requires different gases from its environment for its physiological activities. What is physiological activities? The activities which occurred into the body is called physiological activities. That means uh, photosynthesis one type of physiological activities, respiration one type of physiological activities, reproduction one type of physiological activities. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide and other gases occurs through stomata and lenticel. Stomata. What is the stomata? Stomata is the tiny pore of lips which take part in exchange of gases. On the other hand, lenticel also tiny pore of bark of stem which also take part in gaseous exchange. In daylight or in the presence of light, the rate of photosynthesis become high, a part of oxygen gas produced in photosynthesis. Then this oxygen also take part in respiration. Breathing problems may develop if someone sleep under a big tree at night. Why? You know, respiration is a continuous process. For respiration, oxygen is mandatory. At daytime, plants get oxygen from photosynthesis process, but at night, photosynthesis is stopped. So, they take oxygen from environment. So, breathing problem may develop if someone sleep under a big tree at night. Respiration a Definition of respiration Respiration is a process where the movement of oxygen from environment to the cells Here energy is produced and the transport of carbon dioxide in the opposite direction That means Here at first Oxygen is entered into the cell then energy is produced into the cell as well as exhaled the carbon dioxide from the body. Three phenomena are attached here. Respiratory system. 
The respiratory system is a biological system consists of specific organs which is used for gas exchange in animals and plants or we may say it is easily the system which consists of different specific organs is called respiratory system or the organs which take part in respiration is called respiratory system. Simple equation of respiration. One molecule of glucose that means C6H12O6 and six molecule of oxygen take part in reaction. Then it produces six molecule of carbon dioxide and six molecule of water and energy energy as atp that means adenine type phosphate total three types of things are produced here carbon dioxide water and energy carbon dioxide and water are byproduct in this reaction and energy is our targeted product. Carbon dioxide removed from our body by respiratory system, excess amount of water removed from our body by excretory system, then two types of energy produced here number one heat energy, number two kinetic energy. Heat energy help to perform our physiological activities that means digestion, respiration, excretion, blood circulatory system, blood circulation etc. On the other hand kinetic energy helps to perform the physical activities that means walking, running, playing, cycling etc. You know if the oxygen supply stops for 3 to 4 minutes, death is imminent. That means the oxygen supply must have to continue because energy production depend on oxygen supply. If energy production stop, then we will die. In both conscious and unconscious condition, inhaling of oxygen and expelling of carbon dioxide goes on continuously. That means if we sleep or when we sleep, respiration will continue. You have to mind it. If 3 to 4 minutes stop the inhaling oxygen or enter into the body then we will die parts of human respiratory system human respiratory system number one nasal cavity and nasal passes pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, lungs and finally diaphragm. Total 7 parts are there in our respiratory system. Follow the picture attentively. This is the picture of human respiratory system, top part triangular shaped, this is called larynx or voice box, just beneath the larynx there is a long tube like structure, it is formed by cartilaginous ring, this is called trachea. Then trachea divided into two branches and entered into both lungs, the branches of 
trachea is called bronchus then bronchus again divided into different branches into our lungs are called bronchiole bronchioles the end of the bronchiole there is a sac like structure which is formed by epithelial tissue and so it may swell enough when we inhale is called alveolus or alveoli then the both lung covered by two folded membrane called a pleura and the cavity between two membrane of pleura is called a pleural cavity into pleural cavity there is a fluid like substance present which is called serous fluid and just beneath of both lungs there is a sheet like structure or muscular sheet is present which is just like an open umbrella is called diaphragm no need to draw the picture of heart and ribs because ribs and heart are not the part of respiratory system there is a video if we follow the video we may draw the human respiratory system easily so let's see the let's watch the video this long tube like structure will be trachea two branches of trachea then right lung then left lung now it is the triangular shape larynx cartilaginous ring of trachea then bronchus pleura of lung branches of bronchus that means bronchiole then alveoli which are connected or attached with 
bronchiole Now we have to labeling. Laddings. Trachea, Pleura, Bronchiole, Alveoli, Bronchus, lung if you draw clearly only one lung it will enough nasal cavity and nasal passages a triangular shaped cavity placed above the buccal cavity. It runs from nostril to pharynx. A thin membrane separates the two from one another. Its interior part is covered with hair and the posterior part by a membrane. When air contains dust and germs, the hair and the membrane obstruct them. Functions Helps in inhale the air. It helps to feel sweet and bad smell of a substance. That means there is a smell sensitive cells which helps to take the smell the air in the nasal passages is warm up to body temperature and humidified number two pharynx It is a short portion between nasal cavity and larynx. It spans posteriorly of the nasal passage up to the upper part of larynx. Functions The ear enters the trachea through nasopharynx or pharynx. Number 3 Larynx or voice box. It is situated below the pharynx and at top of trachea. It has sound producing cords called vocal cord. That means there are two folded membrane is present which helps to make the sound. That's why larynx is called voice box. On the larynx hole, there is a lid called epiglottis. It covers the larynx during the intake of food so that food can't enter the larynx. It opens again during inhalation. Functions of larynx Number 1 vocal cord helps us to talk clearly that means vocal cord of 
लैरिंग से हेल्प्स अस टू टॉक क्लियरली नंबर टू इपिग्लॉटिस एक्ट एज ए कॉमन लीड ऑफ ट्राकिया एंड इसोफेगस दैट मींस वन लीड एंड टू कैनल और टू ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर व्हेन वी टॉक इपिग्लॉटिस कवर्स द इसोफेगस देन व्हेन वी टेक द फूड इपिग्लॉटिस कवर द ट्राकिया That's why it is called common lead of trachea and esophagus. Trachea, the long tube-like structure between lungs and bronchus, is called a trachea. It is formed by some cartilaginous rings and smooth muscles. Now the question: What is cartilaginous ring? that means the rings which is formed by cartilage and you know what is cartilage in normal sense cartilage is the flexible connective tissue flexible connective tissue who has elasticity is called cartilage and this ring formed by cartilage that's why it is called Cut cartilaginous ring. The inner layer of trachea is covered with mucous membrane and cilia. Through this trachea, air entered into lungs. Functions. of trachea through the trachea air enters into the bronchus a rhythmic breathing of cilia the trapped dust germs and other unwanted particles through it out that means cilia inner wall of trachea there is cilia if unwanted something like dust germs or any other particles entered into they try their best to capture them bronchus the trachea divided into divides into two branches and entered into two lungs these branches called bronchus after entering into the lungs this bron this branches again divide into innumerable branches called bronchiole the structure of a bronchus is like trachea but the diameter is small or narrow diameter is small function the bronchi helps to carry air that is breath in through to the alveoli number 6 lungs you know lungs is the major part or main part of our respiratory system the number of lung is two one is left another is right there are two lungs on the two sides of the heart inside the chest cavity it is spongy soft and light the right lung is a little bit larger than the left why because right lung consists of three lobe on the other hand left lungs carries two lobe that's why right lung is little bit larger again then lobed divided into lobules lungs are covered with two folded membranes called pleura in between pleural fold some slimy substances are present which is called serous fluid which prevent friction with chest wall small bronchioles entered into air cells or sacs called 
alveolus. This alveoli are surrounded by capillary vessel when air enters into the cells they swell up like a balloon. For your kind information, alveoli and alveolus is same. Don't be worried, alveolus or alveoli because it is singular form or plural form. Functions Serous fluid shapes lungs and fiction as the lungs rub against the thorax during breathing. Oxygen from incoming air enters the blood and carbon dioxide leaves the blood. Diaphragm The muscular layer that separates abdominal cavity and chest cavity is diaphragm. It looks like an open umbrella. When diaphragm sinks, it goes down and the area of chest cavity increases. When it expands, it goes up the chest cavity sinks. Functions Diaphragm plays an important role in respiration by contraction and relaxation. Homework Draw the figure of lower part of human respiratory system that means larynx to diaphragm, lower part of our respiratory system and you have to submit it within two days. Maintain social distance adhere to highs in roles. Thank you.